Hi, I'm Andrew Leverett, and I'm a product marketing engineer for the Analog Motor Drives Group at Texas Instruments. And I'm Ishtia Kameen, a systems engineer for the Analog Motor Drives Group. As automotive customers and governing bodies continue to push for increased fuel efficiency and lower CO2 emissions, automotive suppliers must continue to innovate and evolve their system in order to accommodate these requirements. One of the ways that vehicle suppliers are innovating to increase fuel efficiency is by automatically shutting down and restarting the engine to reduce the amount of time the engine spends idling, thereby reducing fuel consumption and emissions. This feature is commonly known as start-stop. When cranking or starting up a vehicle, the battery experiences a huge load. Alternators, fans, pumps are just a few of many electronic actuators that require a large amount of current at startup therefore causing a large drain on the battery. The large current drain leads to a significant dip in the battery voltage from its nominal 12 volts. The voltage dip can be as low as 6.5 volts at room temperature and 4.6 volts at very low temperatures. The 4.6 volt case is commonly known as the cold crank situation. With start-stop, even though the vehicle's engine is shutting down, the majority of the vehicle's electrical systems must still be able to operate. With this requirement and the voltage dropping during cranking or cold crank, many vehicle electronic systems like electronic power steering and fuel pumps must be able to continually operate off a cold crank voltage of 4.6 volts, which can be a challenge for many legacy integrated circuits and electronics that were designed to work off a 12 volt supply that will not go lower than 10 volts while the vehicle is running. In order to compensate for the low voltage operation needed to support start-stop, System designers will add boost converters in order to boost the cold battery voltage at a level that the overall legacy system can support. This is a great solution, however, it can be very costly to the overall system's budget and development time. In order to overcome the need for extra circuitry to compensate for cold crank, our DRV8305-Q1 is able to operate down to 4.4 volts and still drive the motor and PWM, the gate of the power MOSFETs, at a high margin of gate voltage. It accomplishes this by using a tripler charge pump to supply the high side gate driver with enough voltage to PWM the external power MOSFETs with more than 6 volts of gate voltage. Let's look at this quick setup to demonstrate DRV8305-Q1's ability to drive a motor during a cold crank situation. The setup uses a DRV8305-Q1 and auto crank EVM board available online at store.ti.com. For the demo that we have for you today, uh, we have a DRV8305-Q1 evaluation board, or we call it EVM for short, driving a three-phase brushless DC motor uh, for a water pump solution. Uh, the EVM is connected to a cold crank simulator board that is being controlled by a GUI in a laptop, as you can see. On the oscilloscope, you see a waveform uh, that is going up to a certain voltage, uh, which is 12 volts, normal battery voltage, and then sharply falling down to 4.6 volts. This is the scenario that happens in a cold crank situation and as you can see throughout the entire pulse for battery voltage uh, the ARV8305-Q1 is able to drive the water pump without any issue. Along with cold crank drivability, DRV8305-Q1 has many other great integration and performance features like smart gate drive, slew rate control for EMI reduction, SPI configurability and diagnoses, one, three, or six channel PWM options, 150C ambient operation, limp home mode, and three high performance current sense op amps, and an integrated power supply for microcontrollers. To discover more details about DRV8305-Q1, please visit our website at ti.com and search for DRV8305-Q1. Thanks for watching.